five, an Aniston City Jail employee and a friend are charged with murdering a 42-year-old man. The State Bureau of Investigations is looking into this case. WIT 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is live in our newsroom with how the victim's family is reacting to this news. Stefan. Sherry, good evening. Angry and heartbroken would be the best way to describe the feelings of family and friends that attended a rally for 42-year-old Dietrich Barkley, who was murdered in his own front yard. We're going to follow the system. This is a new movement that's connecting to all the other movements. Amen. A family mourns the loss of their nephew, brother, and father, Dietrich Barclay. Dietrich Barclay was a good guy, a hardworking guy. Everybody got a pass. Everybody sin. Nobody's perfect. But nobody deserved to be shot down. Barclay was gunned down after an altercation with two men in front of his home where gunfire was exchanged. We are tired. We are tired of being tired of just getting shot down for no reason. Law enforcement confirmed with WIAT 42 that Joel Abbott, who was wounded by shots from Barclay, and his friend Joshua Parker, an Aniston City Jail employee, were both charged with murder. He's been here for approximately two years. Um, things that I can tell you about Mr. Parker, he's an average employee, doesn't have any major disciplinary actions. But his latest alleged offense may have hurt the deepest for those who knew Dietrich Barkley. They say the charge isn't enough, and they want to see it all the way through. And people say that this is not a black and white issue. It is black and white. Yeah. Yeah. People say that it's not racial. It is racial. Yeah. Now, both men are currently being held in Calhoun County Jail with a bond set at $500,000. Reporting from the newsroom, Stefan Dingle, WIT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.